we start all over and this time list only those people who must be invited. I thought that's what you did last time. First, close relatives. Well, I think we ought to throw out everybody who isn't at least a first cousin. <laughs> well, there goes great Aunt Jennifer again. Well, she's an exception. She's so skinny, she only takes up a half seat. <laughs> Listen, if we make one exception, before you know it, all the second and third cousins will be back in. Oh, dear, it's so difficult. Hey, Ernie can sit on that other half seat with Aunt Jennifer. <laughs> Steve, what about the Freemans? Oh, well, uh, we have to ask the Freemans. They've known Mike ever since he was a little baby. Well, we've got to drop somebody. I don't know who to suggest anymore. I really don't. Maybe we could pick him out of a hat. Ready? I thought I'd come out and get a breath of fresh air, too. Kind of stuffy in there, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it's my pipe. Dad, how many of those people really care whether they, they come to our wedding or not? Oh, quite a few of them, Mike. I guess by now you both realize that weddings aren't just for bride and groom. I mean, they help mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers adjust to a loss. In all the excitement, it's uh, easy to forget that a wedding, while it's the beginning of something for you, it's, uh, well, it's the end of something for us, you know? Uh, Sally, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy to be, uh, as they say, gaining a daughter. <laughs> Well, back to work. You know, I think I'll suggest that the uh, guests come in shifts. A hundred to a shift. <laughs> we can't do it, can we? <laughs> well, we still have 350 people in a hall that accommodates 200. So, hold the reception in the armory. They had a cattle show there last week, and, uh... Oh, forget the armory. Are you sure every other uh, hall's engaged for the 19th? Yes. Templeton Hall is larger, and that's available on the 18th. No. <laughs> hey, what about the girls' gym at school? <laughs> well, heck, well, that's where we have to graduate from until oh. they build a new auditorium. Yeah. Uh, Helen, it's for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's all Mike needs is to tell everybody he got married in the girls' gym. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Morrison. Oh, no. Well, how could you possibly have made such an error? Yes. Well, no, they haven't been printed yet, but... You're putting me in a very embarrassing position, Reverend. Well, yes, of course I understand, but... Well... As you say, Reverend, that's life. Goodbye, Reverend. You made a mistake on his calendar? <laughs> we have to start planning the whole thing all over again? <laughs> well, like the Reverend says, that's life.